All right, dot-com secrets X members, newbie internet marketers, intermediate internet marketers, and everyone, MLM, home business marketers, Christopher Wilson here. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a squeeze page in 90 seconds or less. Uh, and I will call this the how to create a squeeze page in under 90 seconds 2.0 version. Because actually I'm going to go through the whole process of creating a squeeze page and I'm going to set it up right before your eyes <clears throat> uh, now real quick this is um, this is my day 15 uh, day 15 and 16 uh, affiliate website just did a couple posts uh, one is how to set up a squeeze page in 90 seconds and of course 90 second squeeze page product review okay so you get a chance go ahead and take a look at that at uh, autoprofitmachines.com forward slash internet marketing reviews okay real quick let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> and this is unscripted so we're just going to go with the flow I hope to get it completed in 15 minutes if I don't I'll just make it a part two okay um, I was looking through my headline files in my library and um, came across some nice looking headlines I did not even know I had but these are kind of sweet and I'll just start with them. That's a nice looking one. Okay. And these are available. Uh, if you're on my list, um, I believe the first the, the first greeting email, I made these available. So, uh, you know, you might want to go back and check those out and download them. Um, and um, they're probably on my videos too. But anyway, um, you know, you can, you can pick them up somewhere on, on one of my sites. Uh, here's another one. And here's another one. Stop if you're feeling frustrated, locked out, or making the making money game. That's self-explanatory. And the thing about these, they come with the um, Photoshop files. I'm not, I mean, I don't know Photoshop too well, but I can. I know enough where I can change these around. Here's another one. Okay, that's look. That looks good. And I actually, I'm going to use one of these, and uh, I'm going to show you which one I'm, I'm going to use shortly. But look at this one. <clears throat> Okay, and like I said, these you know you can change these around. Look at that. Um, okay, share my formula with you. And these are so general, you know, you may not have to do too many changes with them. But here's another one, and here's another one, another one. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to use one of these, and the one I'm going to use is number four, actually. So let's go back to number four. Okay, that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, and I'm going to link that to Russell Brunson's uh, .com Secrets X. You know, believe it or not, but watch how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. I already know which one it is. <clears throat> I'm going to open up. Um, let me close all this out. Let me close this out. That system mechanic. Uh, okay, let's close that up. It didn't close. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's close that up. Okay. All right. So first thing I want to do is uh, go to FileZilla. I don't know if you can see that on my computer. It's at the top there, but I'm going to go to FileZilla. And I'm going to log in somewhere. Let's get that going. And I'm going to open up my files. I'm going to go to public HTML because I want this to show publicly. <clears throat> um, let's see, yeah, right there. I'm going to find my headline file. I got it in the file. And I got it over here. And it's number four, I believe it was. Number four, there it is. Boom okay so I can double click that and it'll upload I just found that out it'll upload to the uh, the website I mean uh, to the web automatically let me double check it to see if it did and it did I believe right there yep okay so I'm gonna right click and copy this and minimize I'm gonna open up a new window and I'm gonna get the URL and I know this may be the slow way of doing this, but this is the way I do it. 
All right, that's it. Good. So it's live on the web. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, put on a notepad <coughs> so I can get it easily ready and close it up now. I'm gonna go to 90 second squeeze page creator and create a new squeeze page. Okay. Um, let's see which one I'm, I'm going to use. I'll start off with this one. I can always edit it. But anyway, let me give it a name. Um, and, and I found out in the 90 second squeeze page creator, the name that you give it will show up in your browser bar. So it's very important. At first, I believe I say, you know, it, it doesn't really matter, but it does. So let's call this, uh, let's see, 30, uh, Internet Internet Millionaire Millionaire Coaching or free internet internet millionaire coaching. How about free? Ah and this is the problem I've been having having a struggle with. I don't know why it does that. Internet Millionaire Coaching. That's what I want. So don't change. Okay. Alright. And this is the template I want. <clears throat> the headline that I want. Um, I really don't want a headline because I'm just going to use that. Um, I'm just going to use that image. So um, I'm going to leave that blank. Let's see what happens. I've never done that before but we're going to see what happens. So, um, I think that's going to show up. Okay. Internet. Let's call it the same as the uh, title. Millionaire. Oops. Coaching. Coaching. Okay. We're going to put an image. And I'm getting my image URL. Get on my notepad. Okay. <clears throat> and paste it. Opt in code. Now let me go to my A Weber. And I've got a button that I want to use. I just remembered. <clears throat> but I want to put this on the uh, dot com secrets. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find that form. And I'm going to make this, um, oh, you know what? Matter of fact, it may already be, yeah, let's try this one. It may already, yeah, there, no, that's not it. That's not the one I wanted, but, um, let me see, let me go back. There's one where I actually downloaded the button. It says access page. So let me find that one. Uh, what was that? Get access button. Access name. Let's see. That's, uh, yeah, that may be it. Yeah. Uh, do I want name and email? i tell you what. I'm going to edit. Um, hmm. Let's see. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to keep it name and email. Because I was thinking of a new technique where I just asked for the email. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do, um, let me go to submit. Advanced. I just want to get the button URL. That's all I want. I'm going to make a new page. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to web forms. Create a new web form. <clears throat> okay. And I think that was basic that I was using. Load template. Uh, let's see. Let's take this off. Take that off. And take that off. Submit button. 
edit that and I want that URL I'm sorry yeah I want that URL the button image hope I did copy it and yep okay good and I'm gonna take off the name okay I'm gonna make this gonna put email in the box email yeah okay all right yep that's what I want okay so let's save that uh, save it and let's go to step two um, access 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 I'm just gonna say headline four so I know which one it is okay um, oh I forgot to get the URLs let's see because I want to go to let's see let me stop it real quick let me get these URLs actually I decided to keep it going because I want to show you the whole thing but I'm just going to basically get the uh, sales letter so let me stop it for my login detail when I um, let me see I want to get my offers and we're coming up on 12 minutes so I may have to make this a part two but I want the sales letter version okay Alright, so let me go back to Aweber. Put the sales letter version here. Paste. And do it here too. So even if you already opted in, still want you to see the message again. Okay, let's go to step three. And I will install my form. Raw HTML right click and copy now let's go back to 90 second squeeze page creator and let's see let's put our code here okay and I'm gonna need my destination URL here uh, thank you page use this thank you uh, yeah I use that and my destination URL is the sales letter page and I'm going to try and experiment while I change that around. This is all about testing, testing to see, doing different and exciting things. Okay, now exit pop. Now here I'm going to put the Illuminati offer if they try to exit. Put the sales letter version. Because I like it when that music comes on. Okay. And exit pop text. Oh, I got some text that I use, but it never shows up. Let's see. Let's try it again. My exit pop text. I've got it somewhere. Pop up message. That's it. But this never shows up for some reason. I'm going to try it again. Okay, paste and let's save it. And we're on fourteen seventeen. So that's our page. Looks like I got it done in under fifteen. Hold on, let me pause. Okay, let's see. And I saved it. This is the page right here, I do believe. And I just may make this a part two, but let's see how we're looking like. Or what we're looking like. Mm, that's not it. Uh, which one was it? I know I saved it. Okay, let me go ahead and I uh, conclude this. I'm going to go to video two.